Stead Hangman. Release German suplex. Oh my God. The flippy floppy got Silas in trouble. No, Silas. Ring awareness, Silas. You know how this buckshot Larry feels, don't you? Uh, Ring awareness. Shut up, Tony. Okay, man. Pay up. Oh. Shot. Larry. Boom. Oh, gotta do it. And it does. Great win. Great match. Winner of this match, Hangman Adam Page. Shut the damn music off right now. Oh, uh, please. Boys and girls, who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? Here's a switchblade. Jay White is not ready for story time. Interrupting his, his so-called friend. Adam, Adam, Adam. First off, let me apologize for coming out here and interrupting story time with Adam Cole. But I feel like I owe you an explanation. Look, over the last week, I've been giving it a lot, a lot of thought. And as the catalyst of professional wrestling, I'm responsible for all of this. That means I'm responsible for making Forbidden Door as big as it can be. And as much as I would love to make it about Bullet Club and the Undisputed Elite and do a favor for a good friend, my opponent at Forbidden Door, it still can't be you. Because, Adam, you lost to him. Twice. But Hangman, I know that you and Milwaukee and the world, you are all just dying to know who I will face at Forbidden Door. This Sunday on pay-per-view. Just who will I face for my IWGP World Heavyweight Championship? Hangman, I can tell you who it won't be. It will not be you. Well, Hangman, that didn't go over so well. Well, Jay White gets the tables turned on him. Hangman teeing off on the champ. And now Hangman taking out Adam Cole as well. Adam Cole is trying to get in the action by getting, going through the back door there. Wait a second. Hang oh, the low blow. blow. Man, what a cracking low blow that was by Hangman Adam Page which basically renders the uh, hangman helpless. But look at this. As, as Jay White tees off on Hangman Adam Page, Adam Cole has that IWGP Wait World Heavyweight Championship. Wait a minute. Who's the object of this affection? Whoa. Man, I thought Switchblade almost got stabbed in the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Adam Cole and, and Switchblade Jay White. Oh my God. Nobody better in the world than Kazuchika Okada, the Golden Boy of New Japan. The Rainmaker himself has arrived. This guy is absolutely off the page amazing. of all modern time to Kazuchika Okada, the former IWGP heavyweight world champion. And look at this, Okada and Hangman teeing off on Jay White and Adam Cole. Man, what a night here. Kazuchika Okada making a impromptu debut, coming to the aid of Adam Page. Adam Cole, baby, want to get a cheap shot in, didn't work. Okada, 
Rainmaker, no! Switchblade avoided it. And Jay White leaving with his tail tucked between his legs and also leaving with that IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. But for how long? I can't wait for Sunday. Pay-per-view is going to be extraordinary. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see these international superstars in action. And it has suddenly gotten quite a bit more interesting with the arrival of the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. Ongoing. Yeah, you guys trust each other. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and here it is, Spackstabber! Apropos, perfect move to do to a guy with like success. Adam Cole's oh. turned it up. Here oh, we go. Look out here. This Dude. could be it. Oh! You felt that sense of urgency by Adam Cole. Stuck the knife in the back. Cole's oh, got the yeah. got great intensity in his blue eyes there, Taz. Yeah, I can man. tell you that. He they sure are does. bright and sparkling. And Kevin, you saw Ghetto on the outside. He was apoplectic. Oh, absolutely. He thought there may have been a deal cooked up between these two. Again, Jay White's the leader of Bullet Club. Adam Cole looks to lower the boom. Jay White avoided it. Urinagi. Oh. Strong Urinagi. Taken out of the, the playbook of one of the great IWGP champions of the past, Hiroshi Hase. Yeah, what a, what a class act he is. It was great. Hase, amazing. Cole still down. Jay White. Sleeper suplex. Could be what's on the mind of the switchblade. Goes underneath with a half, almost a half. Back elbows, find a home. They're not orphaned. One single chop from Jay White dropped Adam Cole to his feet. No, it did, and it because it's impactful. And look at that high crotch into a lift by Adam Cole Count. Oh, oh my gosh. You're talking about getting folded up like an accordion. There's another one. There's one for Okada. Those are nasty throws. Yeah, that's There's another one coming. Diff difference makers, fellas. Oh, Blade Runner, no. Sleeper suplex for Hangman, but the boom. Okada, John Woo dropkick. Discus Lariat from Hangman. Remember the IWGP heavyweight title is on the line here. That is the richest prize in all of New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's at stake, it's in jeopardy, and one of these four men will leave with it here tonight. Question is, which one? All four men are on the mat, battling their asses off here. Man, I, I, I got, I got to pick one. I'm all for two tonight. I think Okada's gonna, I think he's gonna get it, man. I'm telling you, Kev. This isn't the time to start picking, man. I'm it, I got it. I'm two all for one. two. <laughs> uh. Okada's been to the top of the mountain before. He has been. IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, but remember, Jay White was the first man to ever hold the Grand Slam in New Japan Pro Wrestling, almost 50 years of history, and Jay White was the first. Yeah. Oh. Fans liking this. Straightforward, in your face. Smash mouth. Yeah. Pro Wrestling. We know who they like and who they don't. Favorites gaining the advantage. Oh, look at that. Cole and White, the gouge of the eyes. It works. You slow down your opponent. Oh, <laughs> Gato oh. nodding his head on the far side of the ring is Cole now. Oh, here we go. Jay White. It's exploding more. And here comes Hangman and Okada. Oh. <laughs> labored breathing, or you can hear the labored oh. breathing, but that. Wow, misdirection kick and a forearm to the face by Hangman. And Hangman power bomb! Perfectly done! What? The championship! Whoa! Oh, oh, wow. Not an emphatic kick out, but just enough yeah. to stop the count. Not much juice in that kick out, but to your point, Kevin, it doesn't matter. It worked. Hangman. Oh, lining you know up he's switchblade. Yeah, he's taking buckshot here, guys. But Cole. Grabs the boot to prevent him. Hangman changes direction. And now, Orihara Moonsault wipes out Cole and Okada. Wait a minute, Gato's Gato, over. Gato on the outside here. Can Rick, Rick not see it? He's looking right at it. And 
Ghetto being brought up by the hairs on his chin. Oh. And he got leveled, and now the boot through the ropes. Here we go. Now he's going to be able to execute it. Buck shot. Oh, this. Blade Runner. No. Dead Eye! Dead Eye City. And now then. He's not done. I'm not so sure I wouldn't have gone for the cover right yeah. there. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, JR. You never know what's the worst thing that can happen. You kick out at two. Oh! Buck shot Larry. We have a new champion! No kick outs here. Two! Okada dives in to break it up. Every man for himself. Okada not trying to help Switchblade. He's trying to capture back his, regain his title. Extend this match. So the match continues, so Okada's got a shot. That's what he's doing there. Exactly. That's on his agenda. Okada. That's the proper agenda. Okada knew just as well as everybody that there was no way Switchblade Jay White was going to be able to kick out of that buckshot lariat. It's a mental thing here now, fellas. The mental side of this, this business really comes to play here. They're fatigued. They're tired. They've been beat the hell out of each other. They've been beat up. I'm trying to say. I can watch this all day. That's a smash mouth city. Hangman and Okada. Former IWGP World Heavyweight Champ colliding right now with the former AEW World Heavyweight Champ. Uppercut by Okada. Okada looking for the tombstone. To the midsection by Hangman sending Okada at the ropes. Okada reverses. Drop kick. No. Big mistake. Got his cover here. Oh, nice roll through. Look at that by Okada. That's beautiful. Wait a minute. Control looking for the. He's looking for the. Spinning rainmaker. No. Oh, release German suplex. The dead eye was avoided. And there's the discus lariat. Drops Okada. And now Hangman. He watched that buck shot. And now look at Adam Cole. Oh, oh God, oh. you hear the smack of the skull that on that post. Nasty. That's sickening. That was disturbing. Definitely, definitely rough. Oh, the, he faked high, went low, caught Okada on the knee. And now Adam Cole thinking Panama Sunrise. He's going to get it. Oh, oh. oh wait. Every crash on the knee by Okada. Okada always comes up with one big move to set things right. Yeah, he's a great counter wrestler, hence his success. He'll suck you in and counter you. It's very smart. It's patience. He's got a lot of patience. Watch out, cameraman. Okada's going up. Kazuchika Okada oh perched God, on the... Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Big high elbow. Look at the hang time. Amazing hang time by the former champion. The fans love this guy. Oh. Shirt on, folks. I just had surgery and I ate a lot of ice cream, so forgive me. <laughs> There's only one Eddie Kingston. But <laughs> I'm out here because the young bucks of Kenny Omega decided to leave because I told them I don't respect them. Oh, come on, they're cute. They're good guys, I guess. I don't know. But folks, there's been a lot of things going on that I don't like, that I don't agree with. Especially a certain somebody that's supposed to be my homeboy who's a little mad that, you know, maybe he's a little mad, I don't know, that I'm teaming up with, you know, the Bucks, who I don't like or respect. But you guys have to understand, I can't stand Claudio Castagnoli at all. I don't care if me and John have a problem, because me and... Oh, the Blackpool Combat Club. I want to see Moxley. I don't yeah. see the rest of them. I think Moxley, Moxley may be out here by himself. Well, there's a long history with these two men. Oh, Friendship, yeah. you know, but we've but, seen some tensions. But even longer history of hatred between Eddie Kingston and Claudio Castagnoli, dating back more than than a decade, well over a decade, as now Kingston and Moxley eye to eye. 
You know how this goes. If they stand behind you, protect them. If they stand beside you, respect them. If they stand against you, destroy them. You're drawing a line at Forbidden Door. And you there ain't drew no the line. Coming back no, from there. you drew the line the minute you started teaming up with that scumbag. You drew that line, not me. I love you, you're my brother. You decided to do that, not me. Every time. Every time what? Every time what, John? Say it. Say it. Every time what, John? Say it. Well, this is drop dead serious right here in Eddie's eyes. You know what, if you ain't gonna say it, I ain't got time for this. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth man is Ishii. What? Wow. The stone pit bull, Tomohiro Ishii. The fifth man for the Young Bucks. Hangman Adam Page and Eddie Kingston. And oh, look at this, the Blackpool Combat Club swarming Kingston as Moxley. And Danielson now in there with, with Tomohiro Ishii. Ishii and, K and Kingston, they've gone to war with one another. And they Claudio go, I'm sorry, go right after Eddie. And now Wheeler Yuta with Ishii isolated inside the ring is, is Claudio Castagnoli. He's not coming out! Okada, where are you? Do you know what? If he's not gonna come out, I'm gonna stomp Ishii's face in. Oh boy, he's not joking, dance and stop playing. No, oh, everything they do. Listen to this. Those coin drops can mean only one thing. It's the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. Oh brother, look at this face off here. We only have to wait till Sunday. The main event, live from Toronto on pay-per-view. Forbidden Door, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. A dream match for the ages. Cannot wait for this to happen. The fans are standing everywhere. Oh. Look at Wheeler Yuta from behind. A cheap shot from behind. Hey, he's, he's doing the right thing. He's watching Danielson's back. I don't blame you, to, but I'm looking forward to seeing Okada and Danielson have at it this Sunday. But right now, I think they're fixing to wear down Okada. They're going to be watching his back on Sunday as well. Good luck, Danielson Okada. Danielson lining him up for the Psycho knee, but it connects on Yuta. Oh, boy. Okada. Oh, boy. Okada. Brings Danielson so in. Rainmaker, no. Not so fast, my man. Uh-uh. That Rainmaker has made history in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That ripcord lariat has made Kazuchika Okada one of the biggest stars of all time in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And now, Brian Danielson oh my at God. ringside. You're just gonna eat it. He's gonna get it. Rainmaker connects! Look at the face of Danielson. This Sunday, the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Forbidden Door, the main event, Brian Danielson. Okada high on the neck, high on the shoulders, and Danielson can feel the tide shifting. Yeah, you can tell he's got his second win now. He's, he's looking good here. Danielson! The running kick in the corner. And again. I don't know, third. Bang! Oh, man, yep. One too many times. How precise is Okada with that drop kick? Hang on a second now, look at this, where he go. Oh, wow. Drop kick! Excalibur, you're right, that's two precise drop kicks. As good as we've seen tonight, we've seen some great ones. It's that track and field, it's that high jumping background of Kazuchika Okada. He controls himself so well in the air. Saw some great drop kicks earlier from Sonata. Those just as good, maybe better. Okada clearing the field and gonna head to the top. 
staring down at a fallen dragon. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, Danielson oh. waiting. Changes tack. Juji Katami, perhaps, immediately. Okada defending the yep. submission, but Danielson frees the arm. And now wrenching back on the right arm, the Rainmaker arm of Kazuchika Okada. And sitting down on the chest as well. LaBelle lock, perhaps. And here it comes. It is cinched in. Okada, I, I thought he was going to try some hand fighting there to pull off the hands, but he couldn't get it. Focus on the right side of the screen, guys. Look at the legs of Okada. He's inching closer to the ropes. Yeah, good yeah you can't see the ropes, but he has the ring sense, the awareness. Ooh, wow, how about that? And again, using his length to make it to the ropes to force the break. Just rotated the hips to get to the other ropes that time. That's the difference, man, when you're 6'3 as opposed to 5'10. And those extra inches, that distance closes in so quickly. Okada catching his breath on the apron as Danielson. Oh! Between the shoulder blades. Leather on flesh. It seems by Danielson's body language, he feels, he senses his moment is right now. He nodded to the crowd and smiled. Danielson wants the tope. Oh, Okada, watch out! Rainmaker, no! Oh, missed! Yeah. No! The drop kick! Twice now he's missed the Rainmaker, twice at Danielson and ducked out of the way of it. And Okada down on hands and knees. Danielson waiting to fire in more kicks. See again, look at the face of Danielson. He's really, really confident right now. Creates distance, closes in, the knockout shot, no, Okada. Tombstone, Tombstone! Oh, that's a hard, oh, oh ramp! God, that's a hard ramp. Okada knew exactly what he oh. was doing. He backed up three steps onto the ramp to maximize the impact. Great job, Bryce Rensburg immediately going to Danielson, his face, his neck. Is he okay? But Brian Danielson rained down those kicks on the chest of Okada. But Okada taking three shots to land one. Oh, and, and that one hell of a shot. Yeah, that one was awesome. And Bryce Remsburg now kind of triaging the seat. Do I need to call for an immediate stoppage? Yes, no. Do I encourage both athletes to fight their way back to the ring? Then do I get to the ring and begin the count? And if they do get back to the ring, does Brian Danielson have anything left? Absolutely right. Well, look at the, the blood of Will Ospreay from earlier on still painted on the ringside steps. We've seen, it seems like, Tony, we've seen everything here tonight. We have seen everything. You're right, Kevin. And we are seeing even more here now. And look, at it's almost like, is Danielson convulsing here? I mean, his body was shaking. It looked like... Okada. The compression of the cervical vertebrae and those nerves causing the body to dance. And Zokata again to the top. The elbow dropped this. Oh, oh. connects! Yeah, man. He's not done. Right into the center of the chest of Brian Danielson. I thought, guys, he would try to cover. The Rainmaker! Brian Danielson, you can see labored movements. His head dropping to the mat. He's dead weight right now. So it was the neck breaker early, then the tombstone on the floor, and now Bryce Remsburg. Oh, he's calling for, for Doc Sampson. He might have a medical stoppage. Tense moment here. Again, he's convulsing again, guys. Well, Doc goes out. And no, no sympathy for Okada no. in this situation. Oh, my no, God. Danielson baited him in. He's just a knee. What a ruse. He was convulsing.
Danielson, we thought he was done. Danielson knew exactly what he was doing. Wow. The chess game that is wrestling, huh? I think it's survival instincts from Danielson. He's not jumping up and down doing jumping jacks like before. <laughs> Danielson, his injury history is, is no secret. Oh, yeah. You know Okada is well acquainted with that, and Danielson using that knowledge, using the, that history to his advantage. Look at the risk control now that Okada has gained. Okada with, with the wrist of Danielson clasped. And now just hammering down, bludgeoning Danielson. Oh, toe kick to the side of the head. And German suplex, no, Danielson. Another Busaiku knee. Danielson's reserve is amazing. Two and oh. two. That's two knees for Danielson. Zero Rainmakers for Okada. And Danielson, instead of capturing both wrists, you can see holding his right arm very close to his body, using, using one arm, brings Okada over. How's he going to apply the lapel lock? That is a oh, great Okada question. backs him up. Two and no. Danielson forced to abandon ship. Okada. Rolling elbow strike by Danielson. Oh, but Danielson, you can see that cost him greatly. Oh, my goodness. This both men just fighting to the pain of what they have endured in this match. It's just, the fans are just standing everywhere. It's just, it's just a hell of a match and a hell of a night. Yeah. Yeah. You can only do that with one arm. Anticipated. Landslide. Danielson. Here comes. Right up. Maker. No. I think everybody here thought two. that was it. Third time was the charm two. for Kazuchika Okada. The ripcord. The rainmaker. But still. Danielson perseveres. The instinct. The instinct of Brian Danielson. This match is everything we thought it would be, guys. I really do believe that. Kevin, when you label something a dream match, you set perhaps unrealistically high expectations on it. But these two men, are proving why they are in the same conversation for the best wrestler in the world. No doubt about it. And Okada is hammering on a defenseless Brian Danielson right now. And Danielson collapsed on that, but based on what we've seen in this match, maybe Danielson once again is in the midst of a ruse here. We'll see. And now, here, here we go. go. Rainmaker, yeah. no. There you go. Danielson's got plenty of reserve left. Blue Psycho knee avoided by Okada. Oh. Danielson forces him down. Gonna get your answer here. I think about the LaBelle lock, aren't you? Danielson's right arm is a passenger at this point. He's got no strength or mobility at all. Here he goes. Yeah, this is all left arm by Danielson. But Okada. Still trapped. Still trapped and potentially fading. Danielson still trying to lock those fingers, pushing down on the head with that left arm. Even a 50 or 60% LaBelle lock from Brian Danielson is brutal. Enough to make most men tap out. But not Kazuchika Okada as of yet. Okada with his hips under him. 
not flattened on his stomach. The only thing keeping him alive in this match. Great position by a referee, Bryce Remsburg. Yeah, he's in perfect spot, Tony, to see a tap, to hear a verbal, or perhaps call for a rope break if Okada is fortunate, but he's got a lot of ground to cover now. He's changed it up here a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's what you call improvisation. Danielson, his leg, figure four, intertwined with his own arms, both shoulders of Kazuchika Okada. Oh, punch, and he very, very, Millimeters away from the rope break, but he missed. Was that all he had left? And now Danielson using the left forearm to hammer the nose of Kazuchika Okada. He's fighting with one arm here, basically, is what he's doing. Is Danielson. Here we go again. Kevin, he is going to tear Okada and, yes. the heart, and Okada has to tap. Okada has to tap. Brian Danielson has just submitted. But Orange Cassidy, very deft counter by the AW International Champion. Kazuchika Okada wants in, so does Brian Danielson. The night of Okada's first ever professional wrestling match. Okada <laughs> faced Negro Navarro, Brian wow. Danielson. Buddy. Oh boy. Look at the face of Danielson. And Okada, bring it on, come on. For the second time ever. And that brings the fans to their feet. Look at him. Kazuchika Okada, Brian Danielson. Professional wrestling at its finest and revenge on the minds of both men. Right here on Dynamite on free TV. It's nuts. Oh, what a oh, chop. Man. And I'm telling you, those chops are personal. Payback for the broken arm at Forbidden Door. And notice, though, Danielson, the orthodox striker, is throwing those chops with the left hand. He is smart. I, I tell you, in my opinion, I don't think Okada can win the striking battle with Brian Danielson. I just don't. Yeah, that, that, that got his legs wobbly, Taz. Those round kicks are nasty right across the sternum area. Okada ducks the lariat attempt, ducks the back elbow, and... Wow, look at... Fires in with the back elbow. How about the speed Okada hit the ropes with Excalibur? A tremendous athlete is the Rainmaker. Is now the running back up onto the corner, put to the midsection. DDT. Danielson got spiked. Crown of his head. Okada. Far leg hooked and no. Notice there was no wasted motion by Okada after the DDT. Sense of urgency. Boom. Went for the cover. They didn't get it, but it was really well done by Okada. As Okada headed up to the top. Maybe think of that elbow drop that broke the arm of Danielson, but no. Okada. Counters, and Danielson oh, drops down. down. Oh my God, on his face. Covered by the Rainmaker. They landed Fan, on them. A historic night here tonight, the debut of Ric Flair in AEW, and the action continues this week on Rampage. This Friday night, Santana and Ortiz, the grudge match. They will go one-on-one. -on -one. MJF and Kenny Omega, we will hear from them ahead of their AEW World Championship title match at Collision. Plus a four-way match, Sky Blue, Willow Nightingale, Anna Jay, and Abaddon. The winner gets a shot this Saturday night at Collision. Yes, this Saturday night, Hikaru Shida puts the AEW Women's World Championship on the line against the winner of the Rampage four-way. And the AEW World Championship match, can Kenny Omega preserve his record as world champion? Or will MJF make history? We will find out. Do you know? Danielson, LaBelle Lock, Okada's tasted this before. Well, Okada's tapped out to this before. Yes, sir. And, and, and there you see a good position by Bryce Rensburg, the referee, to make the call. And now Okada tilts. Danielson tilts, and Okada separates. And Taz, that LaBelle Lock, this time, Danielson's arm isn't broken, potentially oh, making even more. Oh, wait, Rainmaker, Rainmaker, no! He reffed up on cycle knee. Yeah, exactly. He missed it. Taz. Yep, he sure did. Meaning Danielson. Oh man, he's Okada's not feeling it. He's oh, 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 oh. God, what a week! What a week in AEW starting tonight, Friday and Saturday. Oh, wow! Danielson off the corner. Okada, no. And both men the same idea. Both men down. Whoa, what a main event! Look at the fans. Yeah, a live audience here in the city of brotherly love. They are loving this.
Danielson, Okada, both men looking for a tag now. Claudio gets the tag, but you see Orange Cassie still not fully up on, the, on Okada's corner. As, now, now tags himself in. Yeah, good job, Orange Cassidy. And, oh, maybe oh, not. No, he got not a good job. Oh, boy. Okada, the high boot to the face of Claudio. Cassidy able to kick Kirk. Claudio able to kick out. Oh. Claudio. I don't know if it's time to play these end games by Orange Cassidy. It's late in the match here. <laughs> oh. oh, he's turning it up, though. Yeah. We've seen him do this against uh, John Silva. I like it. I do, too. I think it's a great move to start out really soft and then lay it in. The aggression, the intensity coming out of Orange Cassidy. Claudio springs up to his feet. And DDT counter. No, Claudio oh. with a giant swing. Uh -oh. oh, they're swinging in Philadelphia, buddy. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, he grabbed him high, enabling Orange Cassidy to get a grip in the head. But look at Claudio counters. No, stunned on Millionaire. A counter to a counter to a counter. Amazing. Orange Cassidy, tremendous. And Claudio gets spiked by the DDT. Cover. One, two, Deep cover. Three, and Danielson there to break it up. Great breakup. Great save by Brian Danielson. Oh, he got nailed by Cassidy. Drop kick. And now Orange Cassidy over the top. Trying to neutralize Danielson on the floor to create an opening for himself. Here we go. Here we go. He's taking orange punch, boys. Slowly down goes the elbow pad. Lay it in. The orange punch so dangerous, even for a man like Claudio Castagnoli. As no, Claudio into the giant swing. Oh my God, this guy's an animal. Claudio is just, yeah, he's a, just a power machine. Another level, you are right. That will just make you so dizzy. The giant swing. Remember, Claudio's forced men to tap out with this giant oh. swing. He's won championships, and now he accelerates. <laughs> Steps through, Scorpion Deathlock. Dragon Cassidy center of the ring. Claudio sits back. He's got that Scorpion on perfectly. I think Sting would agree. As Cassidy making a desperate crawl uh. through the ropes, trying to force the break. Claudio, though, great ring oh, awareness. Uh, here comes Okada. Okada, boot to the side of the head, Claudio. Yeah, yeah but had him drop it. It got him to drop the hold. But Okada ate the uppercut by Claudio. Van Der no, instead, Okada. And a shot for Danielson. Kazuchika Okada. The slam thinking elbow drop now. We know how dangerous that elbow drop can be. Kazuchika Okada up to the Whoa. top. There goes the Rainmaker. Great elevation on that one. Okada setting up Claudio to get the win here. The Rainmaker here in Philadelphia. And you <laughs> got to get the people what they want. Hell yeah. I'm for it. Oh, but Danielson not for it. Well, th yeah, Danielson's not playing games. No, he's just looking to hurt you, man. No, wait. He was Okada. Going the arm. And Okada was going for the Rainmaker there. But the trap kick connects. We're, we are in overtime, fans. Stay with us. And the dream match live on Dynamite. The Orange Punch. The Rainmaker. Uh-oh. Dynamite continues past the top of the hour as Kazuchika Okada and Claudio oh. Castagnoli. What a shot by the big man. Here comes, here comes. Oh. Oh. Orange punch, no. Counter the uppercut. Oh, he's got him. Claudio, two, three. Wow, what a counter. For nearly 40 years and countless, countless memories in professional wrestling, just in, in life. It's been one of my profound pleasures to call him a co-worker these last few years. And it makes me feel like, like a heathen. Love Sting, too. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're just sucking up to the EVPs, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. I have a respect for Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. The EVPs, they got an, well, it's a lot of pyro. It's a lot of pyro. It, it's a lot of pyro, but you know what? As executive vice presidents, Matthew and Nicholas, they wouldn't mind 
if I took this moment to do something that, that's good for AEW, for our collective business. And that's to remind fans that until through now through next Wednesday, you can get the Upper Deck AEW Sting Final Encounter card at UpperDeckEPAC.com. Take that, Matt, Matthew and Nick. All right. Yeah. Well, I wanted to congratulate you. Great entrance after the ass kicking that you guys took on the. Oh, what the hell? Get the hell out of our ring, Tony Schiavone. Get out. Get out. We're moving past that. For God's sakes. Matter of fact, Sting and Darby, you guys cheated. Sting, you invited all your friends from the retirement home. You even had your sons, who happened to be six foot eight and 305 pounds, and beat our asses, and you guys cheated! Matthew brings up a good point. There's something you can't take away from us, your EVPs. We ended Sting's career forever! My mind, Sting ended and there's a tag tournament off. coming up, and guess who is entering themselves in it? We're getting those tag titles back now! Okay, on to today's agenda. We've got two items to discuss. Two huge announcements. First though, the first item is a little bit of housekeeping. Um, and this, this is really tough actually, now that I'm thinking about it, now that we're out here, uh, because it, it pertains to two of our, our, our dear friends. But, but, but we are EVPs, damn it, and we take these jobs serious, and we gotta make the, the tough decisions. So in an effort, to show no favoritism, no bias in the back of that locker room. Our hands are forced here. Hangman Adam Page, you put your hands on two AEW officials at the pay-per-view on Sunday, and you cross the line. God, this, I don't, do I gotta say it? So unfortunately, Hanger, we have to suspend you indefinitely from the elite without pay. The elite got paid. And then, the, then there's the next one. I, I don't even know how I'm gonna say this one. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, oh, I can do it. Okay, okay, okay. Kenny Omega. Our dear friend. Kenny, it's like you disappeared off of the face of the earth or something. You, you haven't made any of your dates for no good reason, too. I, no I, 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 I can't figure it out. Not with illness. What the hell is wrong with so, these guys? As far as your association goes with the elite, Ken, you're fired. What? Oh, man, that's massive. I mean, I, I agree with the hangman Adam Page Listen, decision, we're sorry. We love you guys. And I, and I also apologize if you had to find that out on, on live television, because I, actually I know that you did. Um, but listen, light up the group chat. We, we'll, we're free all, all, all weekend, I think. Maybe we're not. But anyway, item number two. We're, we're actually really excited about this one. And I know that you're going to love this one, too. Oh. Well, thankfully, somebody has heard enough. It's the Continental Crown Champion, Eddie Kingston. Kingston, who this past Saturday earned the respect of the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Yeah, the Mad King don't look too happy, neither. Cut it! Cut it! Yeah, by the way, I'm wearing sweatpants and Tim's. <laughs> so, uh, the hothead here, right? Your brother, the hothead? You said, if I talk crap about you guys, I'm gonna be fined, right? You might as well do it now, bitch, because I got something to say. He's trying to handle the money. Hey, relax, <laughs> relax. This is unprofessional. Hey, hey, hey. Let's take this conversation offline, okay? We, we can talk like gentlemen. Dude, yes, let's go to the it? back. Don't air our grievances on national off? television. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nicholas Jackson put his hands on Eddie Kicks. Oh, 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 from Matt. God, you can, you. you can see that coming. Oh, this is what, damn. It's what the young bugs have become. Am I really seeing this? 
Eddie Kingston after going to a war with Brian Danielson. Kingston, he did not show respect towards these EVPs. Let's be honest. Here. Come on. And I love it, but he didn't. Kazuchika Okada! I can't believe what I'm seeing here, guys. What is he doing here? This place has come unglued! with their power, their political power, and their money, guys. I, I mean, and now Okada. I, I agree with the decision to this system end Hangman Adam Page. He, he attacked two AEW officials, but Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega's covered with illness. He's medically disqualified from, from even traveling. And they fired him. And then look at this. Okada puts on the brakes, the grip of Kingston, and then the Rainmaker. Of course, you've had one of the more shocking things that we've ever witnessed. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah, in the years we've been doing Dynamite. That was, that was explosivity at its best. Okada, part of the elite. Man, that is you. I mean, we said it was a new season, a new era of Dynamite tonight. And Matthew and Nicholas Jackson making, I mean, making that the most literal statement possible. Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker is all elite and he's a, a, a member of the elite what a shocking turn of events wow. 